What is up? This is your LA in a minute, and I'm here in North Hollywood in front of a bar that looks like a whiskey barrel. And there's a building that looks like a bulldog in back. This, I gotta see. Let's get into it. So 1930s, 1940s LA, this is when Los Angeles is really becoming the car culture capital of the world. And quirky architecture meant to catch the eye of a passing driver was the style that was in at the time. Programmatic or mimetic architecture stem from that. And it's basically when you are selling a product, you build a building that looks like that product. There were derby hats, flower pots, chili bowls, and a bulldog and a whiskey barrel. Enter Michael Connolly, who in 1941 was a Universal Studios technician and former hobo who commissioned a tap room to be built in the shape of a whiskey barrel. He'd have it made out of pure redwood by engineer and architect George Fordyke. Now, whiskey barrel shaped buildings weren't that rare in Los Angeles during the programmatic times. There was one on San Fernando, one on Beverly, one on Huntington, but Idle Hour is the last one that still exists. So Connolly and his wife, Irene, worked and lived at the cafe. There was an apartment on the second floor until they divorced when Michael moved out. But Irene maintained the cafe and lived there until 1969. The building sold in 1971 to Dolores and Jose Fernandez, who turned it into a flamenco dinner theater called La Caña. That operated until 1984 and that closed. But Dolores continued to live on the top floor until 2009. The building was landmarked by the city in 2010, and shortly thereafter, the 1933 group led by Bobby Green restored the building to its former glory and reopened it as the Idle Hour in 2015. So the aforementioned Bulldog is actually a replica of a building built in the 1920s that was on Washington Boulevard. Now that building was destroyed in 1966, but the Peterson Automotive Museum built an exact replica and it sat there until they were moving on and ready to demolish it themselves. So this is the original Bulldog Cafe on Washington near downtown. They sold tamales, ice cream, and hot dogs. Little is known about who opened it, but it did open in 1928. The Bulldog Cafe was initially rebuilt for the film Rocketeer in 1990, but that was demolished too. So the Bulldog, who's smoking a pipe by the way, was considered too big and too fragile to move, so the Peterson was going to destroy it. Enter Bobby Green in 1933, who said, no, 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 let's dissect it. Let's cut it into eight pieces. So it took three painstaking days, but they were careful, and they were able to load it on a flatbed and move it here to Idle Hour in North Hollywood. Programmatic architecture is alive and well here in North Hollywood with a bar shaped like a whiskey barrel with a building shaped like a bulldog in back. Idle hour. You got to check it out. All right, LA. It's been a minute.